Hi guys, welcome back to one of my videos. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet a very simple flower. So to create this flower, you are just going to be needing a um, light, so I'm going to create it with two different colours, you can do it in two colours or one colour. So you are going to be using cotton yarn and um, in DK weight, so I will be linking the ones I've used in the description box and the free pattern is on my blog, selinaveronique.com and this is a light three yarn in American terms. We will be using a three millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle and I hope you enjoy this video don't forget to check out my um, lacy boho headband using these flowers. I will be linking this um, in this video. So I hope you enjoy. So to begin your very simple flower, you are going to make a slip knot. So just go ahead and create a slip knot. Pop your hook through this slip knot and you are just going to be um, chaining four. So once you've got your chain four, you are just going into the first stitch with your hook to slip stitch to form a ring. So just go through that stitch and this stitch with your hook. And you should have a ring into which you are going to be placing 10 single crochets directly. So basically just take your hook, go into the center. I'm just going to tie in my loose end as I go and just go ahead and place 10 single crochets. So I'm just going to take my yarn, pull it through. I've got two loops on my hook and pull through two loops. And again just go into that center and take your yarn and pop a single crochet and you are going to be doing that 10 times into that circle. So just go ahead and pop a single crochet, 10 single crochets into that center. So once you've got your 10 single crochets, you are just going to be slip stitching through that first stitch right here. So just go through both strands, take your yarn and slip stitch through um, your project just to tie in those stitches. And if you are going to be changing yarn colors like I'm going to do, what you're going to do is just snip off your yarn and um, pull your yarn through very simply. Go through this one, so I'm just going to go through with my hook, take my second color and pull the strand through like so. I'm just going to tie I'm just going to tie the um, um, yarn and just going to close my circle by pulling on this um, strand. So that's closed my circle and I'm just going to snip off my yarn. There we go. So I've snipped off my yarn and I'm just going to um, show you how to make this. So once you've um, popped your um, yarn in, just go back with your hook and chain two. So just take your yarn and chain two. So one and two. And what we're going to do now is just um, go in with um, a double crochet that we're not going to finish and this is how we're going to create our first petal. So just take your hook, um, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that same stitch into which we just um, worked, take your yarn, pull it through and we now have three loops on our hook and just pull your yarn through two loops 
and leave this double crochet unfinished. So now what we're going to do now that we've got this um, double crochet that's not finished, we're just going to do the same thing, wrap our yarn around the hook, go into the next um, stitch, so just go into the next stitch and pop your hook through, grab your yarn, pull it through and we've got four loops on our hook, pull our yarn through two loops and we're just going to finish this um, stitch by grabbing our yarn and pulling through three loops and this is most of our petal almost finished we do have to chain two one and two and to finish this off we're just going to slip stitch through this stitch that we've just worked in so just go through that stitch and slip stitch. So I'll just let you slip stitch through that. I'm just gonna So now this is our first petal done and we've still got another four to go. So to create your next petal, you are just going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch through that. So just pop your hook through both strands, take your yarn, pull it through and pull it through. And we are going to chain two, one and two. We are going to wrap our yarn around the hook, go into that same stitch to create our double crochet that we're not finishing. So take your yarn, we've got three loops on the hook, take your yarn, pull through two loops and we're just going to leave this unfinished. We've got two strands on the hook. We are just going to wrap our yarn around and go into the next stitch, so just go into the next stitch, pop your hook through, pull your yarn through and go through two loops and finish this stitch off by going through three loops and chain two, one and two and go into that same stitch that we've just worked into to pop a slip stitch like so. There we go, and we've just finished our second petal. So it's quite easy, isn't it? So to make your third petal, just go into the next stitch and slip stitch through that. Chain two, one and two. We are going to wrap our yarn around and go into that same stitch and start making a double crochet that we're not going to finish. Wrap your yarn again, go into the next stitch and there we go. Go through two loops, finish the stitch, go through three loops, chain two, one and two and slip stitch through this. There we go and there we go. Now we're just gonna, so this is the third petal. And what we're going to do now is create the last two in the exact same fashion. So I'm just gonna let you carry on doing your petals and I'll meet you back just to show you how to finish off this flower. So I've almost finished my flower. I've just chained two and I'm just gonna slip stitch through that last stitch. So I'm just going to slip stitch through that and I've just finished my five petals and to finish off the project we are just going to go into the first petal a bit randomly at the bottom of any stitch and slip stitch again just so that it closes that flower up like so. And what we're going to do is just snip our yarn off but this time just leave quite a long tail to sew the flower into our project. And so once you've snipped off the yarn, just pull through this 
um, stitch just to create a knot and there we go we've got a flower so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a flower if you have just let me know in the comments I always answer my comments and don't forget to subscribe for a new crochet video every week